When we look at our neighbors in the solar system, Earth and Mars seem to be siblings that grew up in two different environments. Among the myriad of differences that distinguish them, one of the most startling is the vast difference in their mineral diversity. Earth boasts a staggering 6,000 different minerals. In stark contrast, Mars offers only 161. The disparity is monumental, but what exactly led to this? A recent paper in the Journal of Geophysical Research Planets, headed by Robert M. Hazen of the Carnegie Institution for Science, suggests that two monumental events can be attributed to Earth's mineral opulence, plate tectonics and the emergence of life. Surprisingly, Mars missed out on both. Mineral formation on Earth and Mars dates back to even before our solar system existed. A mere dozen or so minerals, including the likes of diamond, graphite, oxides, and magnesium silicates, populated the protosolar nebula. During the era of planetary accretion, approximately 4.56 billion years ago, primary asiandrites were the dominant building blocks. As planetesimals clashed, the blueprint for mineral evolution on both Earth and Mars was laid down. This era, aptly termed the era of crust and mantle reworking by Hazen and his team, saw a dominance of igneous activity. Consequently, the earliest minerals on both planets likely crystallized directly from magma as it cooled. Hydrothermal activities during this time also contributed to the genesis of new minerals. As epochs passed, new mineral forming sequences emerged, giving birth to various rocks, including granite. While hydrothermal activities spiced up the mineral variety on both planets, Earth's mineral diversity exploded with the onset of plate tectonics about 3 billion years ago and the proliferation of life roughly 3.8 billion years ago. Alas, Mars did not share this fate. Early Martian minerals echoed Earth's mineral evolution, starting primarily with mafic igneous rocks. Over time, these transformed into crystals and basaltic igneous rocks. Similarly, minerals formed due to precipitation from water, indicating the past presence of seas and lakes on Mars, as well as from hydrothermal processes and weathering. The drama of hydrothermal mineral formation on Mars was intertwined with volcanic fluids and activities in impact fracture zones. Impactors punctured the Martian surface creating fracture zones and subsequently steering mineral formation. At least 65 of these primary minerals have been flagged from Martian missions and meteorites. Processes near the surface, influenced by interactions between water and rock, birthed other secondary Martian minerals. Boron deposits on Mars serve as a testament to this, hinting at the groundwater that once meandered in the Gale Crater. Mars also saw its rocks undergo chemical transformations, oxidation, and reduction, with some even undergoing metamorphism due to extreme conditions. However, the conspicuous absence of plate tectonics on Mars has made it a less dominant force in Mars' mineral story. For over 50 years, our fascination with Mars has driven us to deploy orbiters, landers, mappers, and rovers to unravel its secrets. These missions, coupled with Martian meteorites that have graced our planet, provide invaluable insights into the Martian mineral world. These meteorites essentially offer a sneak peek into the red planet's geology, unveiling the existence of at least 161 minerals. It's worth noting, though, that our understanding is primarily based on surface rock samples as Mars's subsurface treasures remain largely unexplored. While the early Martian environment was likely more temperate and drenched, it didn't parallel Earth's intricate ballet of activities that sculpted its mineral diversity. Earth's mineral diversity can be attributed not just to tectonic activity and water presence, but also to biomineralization, where life forms play an integral role in creating minerals. This process, which births minerals like limestone from shells and corals, seems alien to Mars. In essence, Earth and Mars, after their initial shared stages of mineral formation, embarked on divergent paths. 
Current research posits that the total number of Martian minerals is merely a fraction of Earth's abundance. It's this very divergence in their geological and biological histories that underscores the contrasting mineral landscapes of the two planets. In a universe teeming with mysteries, understanding the mineralogical tales of these two planets is not just an academic exercise. It offers us a window into the life, evolution, and potential of celestial bodies, informing our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it.